when performing the lateral sacrum coccyx, have the patient laying on their left side, have the knees bent so that they can hold this position, and double check and make sure that the ribs are superimposed over each other and your hand will go straight vertical into the table. So once the patient is on their left side, nice and straight, you're going to palpate for the crest and then come anterior to you feel the ASIS and this is where the transverse line is going to cross. Okay. Then bring your longitudinal line to be at three and a half inches posterior to this ASIS. Okay, so I've come three and a half inches behind or posterior to the ASIS, and that's where our longitudinal line is. Now, with this image, you use the 10 by 12 image receptor or the 24 by 30 centimeter. Uh, you will place lead shielding behind the patient because this will clean up your resulting image because there's going to be a lot of scatter from this because we are x-raying through a thicker body part. Okay, so this is our lateral sacrum. It will also include the coccyx, but the coccyx will be at the most inferior aspect of your image. If you want to uh, have the coccyx centered on the image receptor, then just come inferior two inches and you'll be centered directly over the coccyx. Now, some technologists like to palpate for the landmark of the coccyx itself. Another way of, of locating the coccyx is the greater trochanter. The prominence of it will be at the same level as the coccyx. Now, for our AP axial of the sacrum and coccyx, have your patient roll to their back. They will lay good and flat. The central ray is going to be at the mid sagittal. Okay, we're using the 10 by 12 image receptor again or the 24 by 30 centimeter IR. Now, with the sacrum, we're going to have a 15 degree cephalic angle. Make sure that you do line up the puppy tray for that 15 degree cephalic angle. Now, I'm going to identify that this is the right side of the patient, so I'm going to place my right marker on the IR. Our central ray is going to enter two inches superior to the pubic symphysis. Okay, so this is our AP axial of the sacrum. To do the AP axial of the coccyx, we're going to change our angle so that it is 10 degree caudal. It will enter at the same level, two inches above or superior to that pubic synthesis. Be sure and line your bucky tray after the, after you have changed your angle. Okay. So this is our AP axial of the coccyx. And you can collimate a little bit tighter for the coccyx. Um, one other thing I want to remind you regarding locating the landmark of the pubic synthesis is you can use this greater prominence, the prominence of the greater trochanter. It will be at the same level. Okay. So that is our AP axial of the coccyx.